Thank you, everyone. Thank you for having me. So my name is Nada Santiago, and I'm the principal product manager for, for Linux One. So today, I'm here to talk to you about the new Linux One box that I don't know if you've heard we announced uh, last Tuesday at the Linux Foundation Open Source Summit in Dublin. But before I do this, I want to take a look at the state of the world today and the challenges that companies are facing. Sustainability is one of those challenges. So it's a very hot topic. There isn't a day that goes by um, without us hearing about some new regulation. Actually, just recently, maybe three or four weeks ago, the European Union just announced new stricter regulations that they are imposing on corporations there. They're asking corporations to reduce their energy consumption by an additional 15% this winter. So it is everywhere. Corporations are, companies are coming up with their corporate pledges. There are actually 2,500 climate laws, world, over 2,500 climate laws uh, worldwide. Some of them are more highly enforced. Some of them are more difficult to achieve. But the bottom line is, those laws are changing the ways that our consumers are buying. So IBM uh, conducted a survey, the IBM Institute for Business Value conducted a survey and asked CEOs, what is the one thing that keeps them up at night? And 51% of them said it was sustainability. That number is up 32% since 2021. So this really reflects how the world is changing, how the, the concerns of the companies around us are changing. So now, in order for them to reach their goals, they have to rely on technology. But where do they start? If we were to take a look at data centers worldwide, the energy consumed by data centers worldwide is between 200 and 250 terawatt uh, hours. To put that in perspective, that is the same amount of energy that's consumed by all of Australia. So it's, it's huge. This means that this makes the solution pretty obvious. So companies need to reduce their energy consumption. They need to rely on technology. Data centers use a lot of electricity. So wh why wouldn't they start there? What if they could have a server that did this for them? Can you imagine a server that can do the work of 2,000 x86 cores, or a server that could reduce your energy consumption by 75%? This is where I introduced the, Emperor, the Linux One Emperor 4. So this machine is built to allow customers to build their sustainable, um, sustainable data center, their sustainable infrastructure. But what does it deliver? So first of all, it delivers sustainability. Uh, it allows customers to reduce their energy consumption and cost with a highly efficient system. It is architected with that specific purpose in mind. So it has larger cache, um, offset, uh, specialty processors, on-chip um, accelerators like AI, compression, and encryption. It is also, it is also designed to run at a very high utilization, which means that you can run a lot of workloads, possibly tens of thousands of workloads, on a lot less hardware, and therefore achieve 75% uh, savings on your energy consumption. It is also scalable. So from a scale point of view, customers need to be able to grow. Once they reach, let's say they reduced the size of their data centers, is that it? Because once they grow, the data center is going to grow do they go back to the beginning? It sounds counterproductive when you're trying to reach your sustainability goals, but at the same time also transform and grow. The, the Emperor 4 does allow customers to run a lot of, a lot of workloads on a massive, massively scalable system. So it can go up to, it can have up to 200 cores, and 125 of them can be in a single frame. And this machine can do the work of 2,000 x86 cores, just a single frame of it. And then third, which was theme number one, is security. So, I mean, you, you all know the legacy of Linux One. Security is, um, is the legacy of our machines. And this machine is no different. The customer's data is protected, um, in use, in flight, and at rest. 
And it also has quantum safe technology, which means that the data is protected today and in the future. So to sum it up, this, this server allows customers to build a sustain, sustainable infrastructure for their data centers. It allows them to stay sustainable as they grow without having to compromise scale, performance, um, or, or growth. So let's take a look at what our customers are saying about us. If you heard our announcement last week, you probably heard Martin Kennedy from Citi talk about the work that IBM has done uh, at Citi. So Citi is one of the largest MongoDB footprint on-prem in the world. They have thousands of MongoDB instances in multiple data centers around the world. But they have multiple business challenges. They were growing, and they had server sprawl where they were running out of data center space. Because of that, their data centers were becoming too big to manage. Um, it would take forever to roll out fixes. It would take forever to recover from outages. And also, they could not, they had very aggressive sustainability goals that they could not reach. They could not reduce their cooling or their energy consumption numbers. So once they moved their, work, their MongoDB workload to Linux One, they were actually able to reduce their energy consumption so much that it got them a lot closer to their net zero carbon emission goal that they have set for themselves. On top of that, the data center became smaller, much easier to manage, and it became more secure because when you have less servers to protect, you're, you're less vulnerable to cyber attacks. And as an added bonus, their performance increased by 15%. So, the CD numbers are great, right? But wouldn't it be nice to see a before and after picture to kind of see how does the same, exactly the same workload, same environment, same everything, how does it perform on x86 versus Linux One and see them side by side to be able to compare apples to apples? Where our team did just that. They built an environment where they, ha they were running MongoDB on 256 x86 cores, and then they did a lift and shift, and they moved them to 19 Linux One cores. They, they monitored the sustainability changes with the software stack that I have here. So they used Instana to monitor the workload and the infrastructure. Grafana was used to monitor the environmental data. Turbonomics was used to, in to monitor the uh, the optimization that they could do. And then Invisi was used to monitor the environmental data of the whole data center. Once they moved the data, the, the sustainability software showed that the greenhouse gas emission was reduced, the electricity consumption was reduced, and the response time and error rate improved. But this is what the dashboard looks like. So this is the sustainability dashboard in Grafana. In the top left corner, you'll see on the left side, on your left side is the x86 side, and then on the right side is Linux One. So the top left is the response time. And you see that with x86, there were a lot of spikes where response time was slower. Performance improved greatly with Linux One. In the top right, that's the error rate. And you can see the same. There are a lot less errors on the Linux One side. That middle layer is the environmental data. So you can see in the middle, those are the uh, x86 number. On the right, that's the Linux One number. And you can see a reduction of energy consumption by about 78%. And then at the bottom, that's the infrastructure layer. And that shows that 19 Linux One cores were able to do the work of 256 cores. So this is just on an environment that we set up in our labs. But now, the team made it possible for you to do this for your environments as well. So we have created an open mainframe project called the Sustainability Grafana Dashboard. You can access it at the link that's posted here. And that visualizes the, the sustainability metrics for workload migrations from x86 to Linux One. So please click on, that, click on that link, contribute to it. We would love contributions from anybody who's around. 
use it. You can download it and use it for your companies. Stop by our booth to let us know what you think. We do have the longer version of the demo that I just talked about if you want to see the whole path of how the data was migrated from x86 to Linux 1. And we can talk to you about all the great things that the Emperor 4 can do for you. Thank you. <laughs>